In order to roll the burrito, you must become the burrito. I've said this silliness for years as a joking nod to the movie Caddyshack, but in recent times as I find myself getting deeper into mindfulness, I've discovered that it's actually a true statement. You have to breathe, and bring yourself into the present moment, focus on what you're actually in control of, execute to the best of your ability with present skill and knowledge, honor the step that you're taking, and then bring yourself into the present moment again for the next step. It seems so easy just to fall into a monotonous way of life where the days all blend together and everything you do is seen as a means to an end, to get you through to a future moment of some sort of escape to happiness, which for some reason never seems to last all too long and so we fall back into the monotony of it all just waiting for that next future moment to arrive where we'll find a little reprieve from the stresses of life's required daily activities. And it all begins to become a perpetual cycle where it all seems so nonsensical, and that's because it is. We forget to honor the moment in which we are in, the only time there really is, and find the joy in where we currently are and with what we already have. I found myself constantly in thought about where I wanted to be or I thought I should be based on societal norms, and it started to make me feel depressed and inadequate about my abilities based on what others seem to be doing with their lives. And so I constantly lived and thought about what I could possibly do to make myself the person that I thought the world wanted me to be. Meanwhile, the blocks in my mind that I had created about myself, being less than, kept me from ever taking any of those steps that I had spent hours, days, or weeks in thought over. Still feeling all the stress of those thoughts, mind you, and thus eventually bringing up illness inside of my body. It wasn't until I started my healing journey that I realized how much I was living in anxiety about what else may go wrong next, or living in depression by looking at my past and feeling as if nothing but bad thing after bad thing had happened to me, and that anything good in my life had just been a brief fleeting moment of happiness that could never last. I've got a long crazy story to share over time, but what eventually led to my awakening was the misdiagnosis which ultimately led to an unnecessary thyroidectomy that changed my life completely. It took me to a place where I'd finally had enough and I was faced with the decision to make on whether I continue to exist or not. Thankfully I knew I wanted to exist, I just didn't want to exist the way I had any longer. I began making small changes here and there to my life, going for walks, making better choices about what I was putting in myself and finally starting to learn to process my emotion and past experiences properly. Learning to be present in the moment has been one of the greatest helps in my healing. It's shown me that things that had happened to me in the past are not currently happening to me in the present, and not to identify with a conditioned response from previous life experiences. It also taught me that the future thoughts that I create in my mind about impossible outcomes serve no purpose in the present moment, and that my thoughts of the future should be based in things of actual reality and things I'm in control over. Mostly it taught me acceptance of what is. Sometimes we just reject where we find ourselves, even if we've put ourselves there. Or sometimes we have no control over where we are in that present moment. And so we create a resistance against that. We create a resistance against what the reality is instead of accepting what the situation is for that time. When you accept what is, you are able to free yourself from any resistance the mind has created and that energy that was once negative in holding you back or keeping you in that thought has suddenly freed you and that energy is able to be transmuted into a positive energy which you can use to form a new plan to bring yourself out of the current situation. I think we all fear change to an extent because it can be seen as failure to the ego and that there was something wrong with how you chose to live your life and having to make a change is seen as having been living the wrong way, thus ultimately feeling defeated to the ego, when in actuality all you've ever done is change or adapt to survive on this planet. The trouble really lies within putting a sense of self in the external world, and so when something has to change, and you have to give up that part of your life. It's sensed as a loss of self, or even death in a way, and so we fight to hold on to it, even if it's something that's actually killing us. 
Learning to let go is what has helped with these situations, but we'll save that for another day. I'm still trying to figure out what this channel will be as far as like what people want to see, what's the so-called money shot, the building, the mixing, the rolling, finished product. Should I include music on these or not? I'll just be messing around with these first few episodes, kind of figure everything out. You guys know how YouTube works. Click on the buttons if you feel compelled. If not, I appreciate you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And remember, in order to roll the burrito, you must become the burrito.